Are you looking for a way to monitor your competitors, but just don't have time to go to all these websites and check for changes? Well, I have the perfect deal for you. It's called Page Screen, and it's going to do it automatically for you and notify you of changes. So let's go check out this deal. Right now, Pay Screen isn't a lifetime deal, so you might want to take advantage of it. Honestly, I like this tool and I think it's really clean and the user experience is well built. Now, it's $69 for the lifetime deal. Let me show you really quickly what that gets you. There's three licensed tiers and you could probably do fine with license tier one if you're not monitoring too many sites and too frequently. And it's 5,000 screenshots per month, five seats and six months of retention of the screenshots. If you need 12 months, you'll need license tier two or three. And if you need more screenshots and seats, seats then license tier two or three. But I mean, most people would do fine with license tier one. Plus it has really good features where you can set when you want to monitor. So I'll show you those in a bit. Now let's jump into page screen. This is my main dashboard and I've been checking out my site for changes. And like I said, the user experience is fantastic on this system. Let me show you how to create a monitor. Like this is you, you're creating the first monitor and I'm gonna go into new monitor. I'm gonna add the link that I want to monitor. In this case, I'm gonna use page uh, screen for this and I'm gonna name it page screen just so I don't forget about it. And I can set the inner balls for this. The minimum I can set is hourly, okay? So in this case, I'll set it to daily. I can use advanced mode. Like I said, this is going to save you a lot of checks because if you are tight with the limits, then this is going to help you out. Let's just say that you are looking to a site like, I don't know, like the one we're using right now, which is AppSumo. You know that they, they don't post deals on Saturday and Sunday, so you, you don't even want to monitor those days. So you don't spend your credits on those days. You can also set the time capture. So from such time to such time, and you can set the time zone. So this is really great because it saves you a lot of checks. You can schedule a summary, you can see it here. You can add a delay, so once the page loads, you want it to wait, I don't know, in this case, two seconds, just to make sure it loads fine. I'll go to next step, and next thing I can do is add a template. In this case, I already created one, but if I didn't, I would choose desktop and I'm good to go. But if I need to create a template, I'll do so here. And I can name this, for example, tablet. Let's just say that I want to have my own template to do screenshots of tablet view only. So I can set tablet and I can choose PNG or JPEG. So I'll create this template. Now I can have desktop and tablet view. In this case, I'll just keep it as desktop. I'll go next, start monitoring, view monitor, and we're good to go. Now again, the user experience is this is fantastic because we have this panel now where we view our screenshots. Let me open up a monitor that I already created for my site. Let's go into it. And this one is monitoring changes. So you can see it already monitored four screenshots and one of them had a change. So there's a 29.6% change on this monitor. So we're able to view a, like a calendar view, the frequency, the last capture, next capture, email alerts on or off, alert change threshold. So if it doesn't change such percentage, don't even alert me because I'm not interested. Let's just say it changed like five words, but we don't want to get alerted. But let's just say that some images changes what well, we want to get alerted. So we can move these thresholds depending on how much we want to be alerted, okay? And then we have the screenshots. So let me go ahead and open up this one. I want to view it, let's just see, because you can use this to monitor competitors or just keep uh, like, a, like a storage of the screenshots, okay? But for example, I'm able to view changes here with this magnifier. There's um, how does this capture look? Okay, it's good. The embed link in case you want to embed this capture, if you want to tag it, the colors used on this page, which is little things that you don't have with other monitors, okay? Speaking about, for example, HexaWatch. HexaWatch does a bunch of things more than this, but if you're looking for screen captures, I think this is the way to go because it's really clean. I like the user experience. Okay, now what if we want to compare it? Well, we'll go into comparison. I'll go into my calendar for today's date. I'll choose another screenshot. And now we have two views, well actually three, and we can view the difference here. In this case, there's no differences because I chose the wrong one. So let me change this up. Let's go back into the monitor. And I think it was this one. Yeah, there we go. So this one does have changes. And here it's highlighted in pink, the differences. I can also split it, split view, see the changes. Changes. I can also do before and after. If I move this, you can see it had different deals on my page. I just did this on purpose, but you can see there's changes. So this would alert me that there's a change via email. 
You can also view this type of change, which I don't know what it is because it won't load it for me. But you get the idea. I mean, it's nice. It's clean look. We have the change percentage. We have the site status monitoring, but it's super easy to create a monitor. Now, you can go into this site and check the changes, but there's also the integrations. This is what makes it interesting for me. Getting this changes via webhook or REST API so I can do things with it because I can automate. For example, in this case, I'm getting alerted via email, but what if I wanna get alerted via call or via SMS? Well, I'll use another automation system, which would be Zapier, Public Connect, Make, etc. and I have it connected to Twilio, so I'd also get a, an SMS in my phone about a change, just in case it's really important for me. But I can do more things with it. Or if I wanna store it somewhere else because I only have six months here or 12 months of retention, well, I can go send it over to my Google Drive using another automator. And this gives us the possibility with this integrations. So that's a really cool part about this. And you can just view a whole list of captures for all the sites that you are monitoring. So this is the one that we've just done right now, the one we, we, we created. So here's the page view, it was a tablet view. Here's the colors on this page. And we can also embed this if we like. You can view this large mode, full mode. We can start it for favorite or download it. Now, all that's available. Like I said, if you're looking to monitor competitors, prices, or changes on any site, and you're just looking for specific, specifically for changes or screenshots, this is a great deal. Like I said, it starts off at $69, which would be more than enough for most people. 5,000 screenshots per month, it's a whole lot, especially when you use the filters to not screenshot when they're not needed. So let's just say that you are going to sleep and you're not, you don't care if a change is made, so you can even remove those hours so you don't get those changes and you save up on these credits that you get per month. So that's pretty cool, right? Well, that is Pay Screen. If you wanna grab the deal, the link will be provided in the description. And that's a wrap.